Hello and welcome back to Compton Shenanigans. Today's video is about a recent trip my wife and I took to Lancaster County or Lancaster, Pennsylvania. You know, Amish country. I'm going to share with you our experience and why you should consider taking this trip yourself in the near future. Now, we planned this trip to take place over a three-day holiday weekend. The first day was conquering the six and a half to seven hour drive from our home to the Red Caboose Motel just outside of Lancaster. We left at about 9 a.m. and arrived at our hotel at about 5.30. That's eight and a half hours of driving, which is just a hair over our new trip rule of driving only eight hours in a single day. It used to be 12. But Matt said six and a half to seven. Oh hey, look who it is. The voice inside of my head manifests itself to annoy the shit out of me while I make this video. Hey, you too. Hey, I thought I was alone. How did you get in here? You're not fooling anyone. I'm just you with glasses and a hat. Okay, if that's so, what am I thinking? Uh, name a number I'm thinking of. Zero, hero, because it's what you always pick, because you're a smart ass. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you know what you could do? You could give this guy a name in the comment section, and I'll pick whichever one fits him best. Okay. You're lazy. Okay. How am I lazy? You didn't even give me a name. Well, <clears throat> I had one. I lost it. I had one. I lost it. Had one. Lost it. Well, I had a few, but none fit quite right. So maybe they could help out. So you took a couple hours too long when Matt said it would be what, like six? Yeah, but you got to stop for gas, food, and other stuff. And see, all that all counts. It's, it's all road time. It's not full-on vacation time. So why'd you go? Well, Amish. See, I like to attempt to get something out of our trips for both of us. She's interested in Amish culture and has some childhood connection to Red Cabooses. The thing for me on this trip was, well, she drove and I got a train ride. See, we're even. Two for her, two for me. Reason enough to go. For our hotel, the Red Caboose, we decided to book it on their own website and not through a travel app. Well, because for the type of place and the cost per room, no, 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 it's because of the pandemic. Look, everyone, it's because some of these travel sites take money from these small hotels, and right now, they need to be able to charge what they need to to stay open. Now, if it was like a Days Inn or Motel 6, then yeah, I'd use an app and try to save a few bucks, because those places are a little overpriced anyway. And most are owned by a larger corporate company, so, you know, that's why. And why this hotel? Well, because it's a caboose, so, you know, the wife likes it. And two, it's right around the corner from what we were going to go do the next day. So we check in and check out the room, grab a bite to eat on the on-site train car restaurant, chilled out on the deck for a few, and then turned in for the night. So how do you like the room? What? They want to know. They want to know what the inside was like. Was it like a train car or what? No, it was like a small apartment. Look, I thought it was going to be bouncy, rock back and forth a little bit, but it was solid as rock. You couldn't even tell you were on a train car when you were inside of it. Here you can see the room that we got, or car that we stayed in. It had a really nice spacious bathroom with fresh folded towels in the window. The bed, as you can see, was a double. So the car we stayed in could easily accommodate a family of four or five. I'm not going to share the price with you because it very well could have changed by now. 
and it may be seasonal. So we'll just say it was over 100 a night without being specific. And the room had all the things you just saw and this, a really neat table and chair setup that I'm pretty sure I'm going to make here on this channel in the future. So stay tuned. The rooms have a window style AC, baseboard heaters, and our room, or car, sorry, also had this wonderful wheelchair accessible deck and lounge chairs. And, um, decks, you would wonder? Uh, no, but it, but it was a pleasant surprise to find a ramp heading around the car or to the back door. Was the caboose red? No, ours was blue, but it was a real caboose at one time in its life, so about 10 out of 10 on the cool scale. Uh, the grounds the hotel sit on also have a free petting pen and a store and a restaurant. Both are built out of retired train cars. Also on the grounds is a place to rent horse and Amish buggy rides. We tried the restaurant, and it was a little cramped, being that it was inside a narrow train car. Uh, the food was okay, but as with most places, they were severely understaffed at the time, so absolutely no adjustment here. We would, we would go back. The next day, we headed over to ride the old short rail and rode first class on an authentic steam locomotive. Again, why? Why? Uh, because I'd never been. And look, if you're going to go on a trip to a new place, you might as well try new things. Which reminds me, you know, it's never a bad idea on any trip you take to find out what's in the area to explore or something new to try. See, the way my wife and I plan any trip is that first we'll choose a location to visit. Then we'll research an area around to see, you know, what we might want to do while we're there. And we ask ourselves, are the surrounding area places to visit affordable? How much time are they going to take? And how many can we possibly fit into our, you know, the time we're going to be there? The answers to these questions really determine whether we go to this or any other destination at all. Anyway, back on point, we found ourselves in the Strasbourg station. And while inside, we found a few seasonal riots that were closed at the time and two gift shops that were definitely train heavy. One shop in particular was wall-to-wall -wall Thomas the Choo Choo merch. So if you've got any kids into trains and Thomas the Choo Choo, this is definitely the place to visit. The train price for first class was about $20 a person. Now this could have changed, so again, don't quote me on prices. Uh, there are other cheaper tickets like uh, the open car closer to the engine and some other passenger cars, but you know, $20 for first class, I mean, you know, why not? Uh, we even ordered some food while on the train and the swivel chairs, let me tell you, they were plush, very comfortable, you know, first class like. And these chairs also swing all the way around so you don't miss anything. Uh, the car we rode on was old, like over 100 years old. It had all the touches of a turn of the century thing. For example, I noticed that the lights in the car, uh, they were originally gas, still had the valves on them, but these gas lights were converted to electric, and the, the same kind you might see on like a This Old House episode. Now this is the first time I'd ever been on a real train. The little one at Cedar Point doesn't compare to this one. Now the ride was also commentated, or someone was talking while you were on it, telling you what to look at. Um, it was comical, historic, and now the short line goes from Paradise to Strasbourg and back. And on the way, there's a stop at a little trackside park for the kids. So they can stop and play and then catch, like, the next train back. Just be warned, it's not the smoothest of rides. There is a lot of swaying and jerking. But since it's my first and I have nothing else to compare it to, I'm going to say it was normal. You guys let me know if that's normal, you know, below. That's it? You drove eight hours for a train ride? Oh, I'm not done. After that, 
we visited a small Amish village and house. There were no photos or filming allowed in the house, but outside you could. We didn't, though, just out of respect, and we weren't really sure what we could or couldn't film, so we just enjoyed the area, and we learned a lot about current and past Amish life, the difference between Amish and Mennonite, and so on. See, I'd tell you more, but there isn't really that much to tell, and I'd rather you go get it from the source rather than me messing it up here. Just one thing I have to say, though. The Amish still use kitchen appliances, but not electric. They either run on propane or air. Yes, air. In the house we were in, there was an airline where you'd normally see an electrical outlet in a modern home. And they convert, like their mixers and otherwise electric appliances, to air power, which also gave me an idea for a few future videos. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm so glad that this trip gave me a few ideas for future projects. It's always nice to get more out of a trip than what you bargained for. Did you do anything else? No, after that, we headed home early. So where'd you get the shirt? What shirt? That shirt. That one right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There are some really unique names of cities in the great commonwealth of Pennsylvania. This being one of them. And it's not too far from where we were, so we just stopped to make sure it was really a place. And we also found Blue Ball as well. Oh, and a few last things before I go. Did you know that the Amish also have washing machines and that one manufacturer actually still makes them. You can find out more about this when you take the tour, but these washing machines, they work with the same gas motors that our go-karts do. A Briggs five horse or probably a three horse for a washing machine. And on this channel, I recently rebuilt one that was full of water in our backyard for a few years. And I have a couple more that are full of water that I'm gonna do in future episodes. Now, I know I didn't do everything correct in the videos, uh, but I learned a lot, especially for the next one and the next one and the next one. So if you want to watch me go through my first ever engine rebuild, you can find it on this channel along with other projects and hobbies that, you know, when I learn something new, I'll try it and I'll take you guys along for the ride. Also, if you want to see these videos a month early as well as other benefits, please consider supporting the channel using the link in the video description. And while you're there, you'll also find a link to our Facebook page and our email if you want to get a hold of us. So please hit that like button if you like this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. You should do it now. I mean, it's free. You like free stuff, right? So from all of us to all of you, Thanks for watching.